Good morning, and may the Lord bless the words of my lips, meditations of our hearts and minds. All that we say and think and do will be acceptable to you, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. The reading I'm sharing is from tomorrow's lessons, the 19th Sunday after Pentecost, and it's the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 21, verses 33 through 46, and it's from the King James Version. Here, another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about, and digged a wine press in it, and built a tower, and let it out to husbandmen, and went to a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen, that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandmen took his servants, and beat one another, and killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all he sent unto them his sons, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir, come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, and cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord thereof the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, he will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on the stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And when the chief priests of the Pharisees had heard his parables, they perceived that he spake of them. But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude because they took him for a prophet. Here ends the reading. The prophets before Jesus were persecuted when the people did not like what they were hearing. Likewise, so was God's only begotten Son, Jesus, persecuted and executed because the people did not like what they heard coming from his lips. They had those itching ears and wanted to hear that they were okay, not that they needed to turn around and listen to the word and follow in the way that they were being warned to follow. The kingdom of God indeed has been granted to those who listen, to those who hear and believe in the word who is Jesus the Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, fill us with the Holy Spirit, with the Spirit of Christ, that we might always accept the sacrifice that Jesus made for us, that we might not reject, but always eagerly hear and listen to your word, who is Jesus the Christ. Amen. <laughs>